Beaverworks Diecast Racing, your source for diecast racing action. Welcome back, Diecast Racing fans and beaver lovers out there. We are coming at you from the great white north, eh? Beaverworks Diecast Racing and the Igloo Proving Grounds carrying on with our mail-in event, the Stone Road Open. Group 3, Round 2. There they are, folks. When we had some excellent Round 1 action with these guys coming down, Gil Jester not quite making it down on the first run. Then we had Mr. Dark from Dubious Diecast made an excellent run. Lily the dog had a sad wipeout, and it was a good one, though. And then we had James Ironbeard over the line, rolling it. Let's go to the top of the mountain and check him out. How's it going, everybody? Lester here, and I'm up here with James Ironbeard. And you can tell that he was watching the Stone Road because he's got the bottom all shaved up there. He's got good weight inside there, and the paint job's amazing. That's why it did good on the Stone Road. And then you have Dubious Diecast with Mr. Dark and the Tesla Cybertruck who got the longest distance out of this round in just a bit of a slower time, still did a great job. Back down to you, voice. Thank you, Lance and Lester, for giving us close up of those two excellent looking builds. And you can pick your best looking build out of each round. Just go over to the community tab on the main page. And we've got group one landlines is still winning over there. We got a tie for group number two so far. Dusty Miles in the F-150 and Shoddy in the D-100. We'll need some more votes over there, folks. And group three so far, it's James Ironbeard and that Toyota that's owning it. All right, now that we're all caught up, folks, let's get on with it. Stone Road Open, Group 3. Run, 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 run. All right, let's get this show on the Stone Road. We've got King Gesture. I think I called him Kill Gesture earlier on. We'll have to see, eh? Anyways, off he goes. He's on the line. He's up on top of the rocks trying to push it, and he is blogging out already. Look at that. That wagon here is just trying to push through, and it's not going to make it. Stock height with a lot of weight apparently is not a good combination on the Stone Road, folks. And there he is, just past a 70-centimeter mark. We'll give you a measurement there. Let's get through the uh, top-down replay, and you can see he got stuck about half way down there don't even know if he made it as far as the first round 75 centimeters king gesture on the second run going over to igloo replay let's check out how that worked out you know almost looked like he had a bit of potential there at the start and then started sinking again this time a little bit earlier and that wagoneer is just pushing it he wants to make it that poor wagoneer it wants to get down there king gesture is giving it everything he's got it's still just not gonna make it there it is right there folks 75 centimeters and a dnf is all he can muster this time right right two, two. Mr. Dark gonna plug that lightning rod in for the second run down the stone road for that Tesla Cybertruck. Let's see how he does. And he's up on top of it going. It looks great. That's pretty fast time. He's coming over top of the logs. He gets through that. He completes the circuit down at the bottom with a 7.33 time. Wicked run by Mr. Dark in the Cybertruck. The Hydro Hydra just made it to the bottom in wicked time. Getting some top down bottom up action. You can look at that thing bounce around taking it and out the bottom that thing's got so much power they are fast vehicles 14.5 centimeters for the bonus distance out the bottom let's check out the igloo replay with that beautiful looking truck and he's got that uh, punisher sticker on the front there and doobies die cast on the side nice red paint job they don't come in red they come in silver the only color you can get for a cyber truck but i don't think anybody can get them yet but if they're all silver red looks excellent just like he makes this run look excellent he's down through the bottom into the trap dubious die cast pulling off an 8.90 time at 12 centimeters run run three Look at the dog getting ready to take that Wagoneer down for her second run. That first run was kind of disappointing. There was a big wipeout. Let's see if she can keep it on the wheels this time. She's up on top of the rocks. That thing wiggles back and forth. There's articulation like crazy all the way through. And she's getting through. No, she made it through the rocks. And just before the log, she ended up on a roof again. Look at that. Upside down, the pooch is 
over. Darn, we had big hopes for Lily the dog on that run, but she didn't make it through. Got through the rocks this time, but just too much side-to-side -side action there, and looks like it just gave up and flipped her into the logs. Drag, that one was, there it is, 122 centimeters, though. That's a lot further than she made in the first run, and we've got the emergency crews out there making sure that the puppy is okay. All right, folks, let's go check out some replays on this one. Looked like she was going to do a great job coming off of the start, making down over top of the rocks, rocking back and forth. There's a lot of modifications inside of that wagon here. She got it all hogged out in the wheel wells to get the extra clearance and lots of articulation moving back and forth there. Might have been a little bit too much coming out of the rocks. Got sideways, got upside down, and came to rest in the logs. That was the best that Lily could muster this time. 122 centimeters and a DNF. Right, right, four. Second run for James Ironbeard and his very well-built large Toyota getting ready to try it out on the stone road for the second run. His first run was excellent, going for the second run this time, so he may keep it on his wheels. He's up sideways. He's over top of the logs, gets a little hung up in there, spits a big rock out the bottom, and finally makes it over top of the line with an 8.51, and a much longer distance this time, kept it on his wheels out the end. That was a wicked-looking run and a wicked-looking truck from James Ironbeard. Top down, bottom up, Cam, you can see, gets way sideways there, doesn't even feel the logs, it even blows it a little sideways out the bottom. Great looking run, 21.5 centimeters is the bonus distance, much better than last time, and like I said, he didn't roll it right over top of the line there. Igloo replay, wicked truck, wicked run, he is on top of everything, blows a big handful of rocks over the edge there, digs in real deep in the deep section, gets a little slowed up in the logs because you can negotiate a right line through those or a crummy one and that was kind of in between then he makes it out the bottom if he didn't get hung up in the logs it might have made him a bit faster a time but still he's making it out of there with an 8.5 one time and a 21.5 centimeter distance which is huge round two results we got king gesture gets another dnf which means he's out zero points there mr dark gets the fastest run this time so he gets three points because he didn't get the longest run lily the dog had another wipeout, so there's two points there and james ironbeard comes out with two points for getting the longest run Group three final results ended up with King Gesture, didn't make it to the bottom again this time, so another DNF, zero altogether there. Mr. Dark got the fastest time on the second run, so three points and two points for the longest distance on the first run, five altogether there. Lily the Dog wiped out again this round, so zero points, and James Ironbeard ended up getting the longest run on this one after getting the fastest time last time, five points altogether for him. So far, the overall standings, Dusty Miles is still ahead with 5.76, but that run with like James Ironbeard comes in close at a 6.02. Closest after that is a 7.33, and then the other three landlines, Arlo and Scotty. There's your preview, folks, for the Group 4 vehicles, and it's going to be a long one because we're going to be running five vehicles instead of just the regular four because that's just the way the mail-in count happened. There they are, and there is some seriously modified builds coming down right there, and hey, we've seen that sucker right there before. All right. Group 3, Round 2, we had King Jester just about made it. Well, not really just about at all, just kind of choked even shorter than he did before, but we had dubious dogs. Cast and Mr. Dark made a crazy run. Then we had Lily the dog almost heartbreakingly made a rollover in the logs right there because that's just what puppies love to do, I guess. And James Ironbeard out the bottom with a great time after he had to wrestle with the logs. How's it going, everybody? Back up here to the top of the mountain with James Ironbeard in this beauty build. He just rocked the track with. Didn't get the fastest time this time, but he got the longest distance. That's because he kept it on his wheels over top of the line. Anyways, fastest time goes to Mr. Dark inside of the Tesla Cybertruck. Did excellent. All right, back down to you, voice. Thanks for that for the top of the mountain. All right, there you have it. Your winners for group number three. It's going to be James Ironbeard and Mr. Dark from Dubious Diecast. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And there's a super thanks, other stuff there. We've got the Facebook and the TikTok out there in the world. You can check those out. But for this round, that's going to be it. And wow, we are loving every second of doing this mail-in tournament, folks. So from Beaverworks Diecast Racing, 
We will see you next time.